Alright, we're on to the next step, which is step six how to assemble the y axis front. So we're going to need B2 and these two pieces here. Alright, so we have two of these pieces here. I think they're pretty identical, so we're just going to go ahead and peel them. Alright, so now we can take all this stuff out. Perfect. So these are by eight. This one is a T nut. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one through, just like the diagram says. Boom. So first one like this with the T nut. I'm gonna do the next one down on the bottom with a T nut, and then another T nut on top here. And that's with these small bolts here, like so. These ones we're going to go ahead and slide in, sliding these in. So we're just going to snug these little T-nuts on the inside here um, as far as they go. So we just snug those now. Um, I believe you do the same thing for the other side. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And put the T-nuts in. Okay, so now get the first one in. Now these last two can be snug by hand. And then we'll use the tool. Okay. Now the next step is um, basically a pulley, I mean a bolt, nylon washer, pulley nylon washer next. This is going to be kind of hard. Whoopsie. Okay, how am I going to do this? So we're going to do this. Gonna put the bolt nylon pulley. I mean, uh, yeah, pulley. And then nylon. I'm going to pull this back into place. So we can get them to go through. Perfect. And now we can get these on just in case. This guy can be lined up exactly how we need it. Okay, so now we can tighten this. We're going to have it the wrong way. Just enough. Perfect. So we have to loosen this one now because the bottom one that we tightened um, made this top one get tighter. Just keep messing with these so you can kind of get them both at least a little bit spinny without affecting the other one.
That's fine with me. It's a little bit of play in there, but I think it should be fine. So, Alright, that's it. Next side is how to assemble the Y-axis back.